Good morning everybody. Lovely, cold, crisp December day. So I just thought I'd uh, show you how I'm going to do my platforms. Now I'm using a plastic cast mould here. Um, I have made quite a few. I, I made a lot when I was doing the uh, retaining walls. But they didn't seem to work too well. I wasn't quite happy with the results. But um, i put a few thoughts into it and I've come up with a better idea. So anyway, I, initially I'll show you how I uh, make the plastic casts. These are, uh, I did buy these off eBay. Obviously there's a straight run with the side walls. And then the uh, end platforms going down. And they do come out like that. But the problem I seem to have is no matter how well I tried to get these at exactly 90 degrees so they match up, it's very hard. So I've come up with an idea. But anyway, initially I'll show you how I make the moulds. Um, first job is make sure it's totally level because these moulds are so thin that if you get it slightly off T, you'll find that one end's really thin and it will just break up. So I've checked that. It's bob on. The platter I use is, um, I don't know if you can see the bag, it's over there. It's Herculite number two. 25 kilogram bag, cost me about 30 quid delivered. And I've hardly used, well I haven't even used three, uh, a third of it yet, so plenty to go at. I know you can buy it um, on eBay by the kilo but if you work out how much it costs. But anyway, right so we're all set up. What I do initially is um, just wet the moulds. I've got some just water with a bit of washing up liquid in here. Just stops it sticking to the mould and helps it uh, spread easier. Now this plaster with water is 50-50 so on here I've put a mark in fact I probably won't need that much but you just roughly, it doesn't have to be but if anything put more plaster in than water because with these moulds being so thin they will break up. So there's 50 there Excited. I'll just put a bit more plaster in that one. Yeah, and that's 50 50. What you don't want in this is air bubbles, so obviously, the better you stir it up, the better results you'll get. And, it, and you don't want it to lump it, obviously. So just pour that in there. Now that does seem very watery, so I'm going to put a bit more plaster in there. Probably a third to two thirds then. It is a time since I've done this. I'm probably going to throw it like this away. And then we'll try that. seem to mix much too much here.
Yeah, much too much. There's a lump. If you just level it down, I've got a bit of a, a bit of a low spot there. <clears throat> Obviously you want to try and get them all at the right depth or you'll end up with different heights. It's got a lot too much on it. So that's it for it, simple as that. Now what I do now is try and get the air bubbles to rise to the top. There's a couple there though, three there. But there you go, it's simple as that to make them. Now obviously I've got to leave them to dry for a few hours. So we'll come back and uh, see how they've worked out. Right, it's a couple of hours later. Um, you can try just by seeing how strong that is. What I do really is try and take all this off with them just being so thin it's easy just to break the actual platform bit what I try to do is go all the way around just pulling the side off I think if you just take your time, it does tend to work. There we go. Now you see we have got some air bubbles up the side, but that doesn't matter, we can just sand those off. Or just nip them off. This is always the hard one. They seem to snap easily. Again, I think it's just a matter of taking time.
that's one out. And there's the other. What I do now is just generally just wash it, just get rid of any debris. So next time I use them, I've got no old plaster, it just comes away. But there you go. So it's pretty quick and it's cheap, obviously. I mean, like I say, that bag of plaster cost me about 30 quid. And I've hardly used any of it. I think these moulds are about ten pounds. But if you've got a few a long few long platforms to make it's uh, easily worth it. And these are tricky because they're just the same. You can just cut those bits off. So that's it. Now what I've worked out it. These are ones that I made ages ago when I was actually making the ten wards. As you see, it's very hard to get these to match up. So what I've actually done is, just excuse me. What I've done is I've had um, I brought these bits of wood, which is the right depth, and then I've had, I've routed out the uh, centre because obviously I want lights on here and I want the wiring. So then the plan is is to obviously stick the wall or side wall up. on each side and that should obviously these need these haven't been sanded or anything so they're a bit rough at the edges that one is terrible So that's the plan. Obviously you can cut the length or as long but you want to make the platforms as long as you want. Anyway, I'll make a few more and uh, see how it goes. See you in a bit. Right, I've put the uh, bit of wood down where I want the platform. Now I've actually temporarily screwed it because uh, I've joined it here and I just want to make sure it's in the right position. So as I go up to these with these plastic tops I'll, um, I'll take them out. Obviously I've measured it so it, it's about right and I know I need to start there where that line is. I'm just going to use uh, some no more nails just to do it and see how it works. It is probably a bit too much there. I'm using an old blade, hopefully, it'll just, I don't want it too thick.
Right, then we'll have a go. Right, it's obvious what I'm doing, so I won't bore you watching me uh, lay these, but I'll show you the uh, effect at the end. See you in a bit. There we go, and that's all stuck down. But the wood is still moving. I've had to take the screws out, but the wood's still moving. Um, it's lifted up at this end, so what? The distance seems about right, but I think I'm going to have to either move the track away slightly, because this side it seems quite a way off. What I do anyway is I let that set, let the top set, put some weight on it, and hopefully, I, just, I don't know whether it's warped or what's happening. And then it, once it's dry, I'll um, bang the sidewalls on and give it a little paint. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Right, that's the second one done. Um, I can't move these, so um, as they're still setting. It's just a matter of now. I really want the platform to come along around here as well and I can work out how to fit the station but I think I might have to uh, design my own part for that anyway that's it for now um, I'll try and uh, do a bit more tomorrow Thanks for watching, bye for now and please subscribe.